Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to perform addition of fractions with different denominators. So let us take an example with uh, fractions which have different denominators. Let us say we want to add we want to add these two fractions 5 over 6 plus 3 over 8. The denominators are different so therefore we need to do a little bit more work when compared to the um, compared to the fractions with the same denominator. We need to first find a common denominator and to find the common denominator we're going to use the least common multiple method to find the common denominator. So step number one. Step number one in here we're going to say find find the find the least common multiple. LCM means least common multiple for the denominator numbers 6 and 8. How do we do that? We're going to write it in step number 2 here as we're going to write 6 and we're going to express it as um, as a, a, in its prime form 2 times 3 is 6 and then the next number we have is 8 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 so therefore we can write this one as follows we can write this as follows so if we were to draw a small box for ourselves and then say uh, in the first box in the first box will represent the twos and in the second box will represent the threes okay so we have a two in uh, a, we have a two here and we have a three here two times three is equal to six and then in eight we have three twos two times two times two and we don't have any threes in in this um, prime, prime factorization. So therefore now we're going to as as the next step we're going to come back and we're going to come back and then circle the highest power of each prime factor. And what are the highest power? In in the number six the highest prime factor is three. We'll circle that. And in eight the highest uh, prime factor is 2 times 2 times 2. So therefore we can now write the next step as follows. The LCM for the LCM for 6 and 8 6 and 8 is going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Therefore, this, this value is going to be equal to 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So, let us put a circle around it. And then, we're going to write another step in here, step number 4. And in this step, we're going to say, we're going to take the denominator of the first fraction and then say, 6 times what number is equal to 24 and then we take the second uh, uh, the we look look at the second fraction and the denominator there is 8 and then we go to say 8 times what number is equal to 24 so 6 times 4 is equal to 24 and 8 times 3 is equal to 24 and now we're going to write another step in here step number five we, we are now ready to use these numbers to be able to to uh, simplify these fr given fractions the given fraction we have is five over six and we're going to multiply and divide this by a number and then we have the second fraction as three over eight and we're going to multiply and divide this 
by a number and as uh, to find the common denominator we're going to multiply the first fraction multiply and divide the first fraction by 4 because 6 times 4 is 24 and we're going to multiply and divide the second fraction by the number 3 so when we look at the denominators we can see that let me erase this uh, this number is 3 so therefore uh, we can we can come back and then write this step as follows 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 6 times 4 is 24 plus the second fraction 3 times 3 is 9 and 8 times 3 is 24 so therefore now <coughs> we can write the denominators are the same the, we write the common denominator as 24 and then we add the numerator parts 20 plus 9 which is going to be equal to 29 over 24 this is when the, the numerator part is greater than the denominator part and therefore this is an improper fraction so when we have an improper fraction we can express it as a mixed number and therefore we're going to take 29 and then divide it by 24 24 times what number is equal to or less than 29 24 times 1 is 24 when we subtract that we're going to get a number 5 so therefore 29 divided by 24 is going to be equal to 1 5 over 24 so this is our answer this is the way we want to leave it so therefore when we had two numbers two fractions with different denominators 5 over 6 and 3 over 8 when we wanted to add them first we found the the least common multiple for the denominators we found we wanted to find a least common multiple then the least common multiple for 6 and 8 was 24 then we found a common denominator for these two fractions and then we were able to simplify it so this is how we're going to uh, going to simplify fractions with different denominators in my next presentation we shall see more examples of addition of fractions with different denominators.